ABC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, active weather patterns going to stay with us for another day or so, and then rain chances toning down with time. So let's get into it and take a look at the upper level pattern. It's been a busy one at that leftover moisture in the wake of Claudette, which is way out to sea now over here. High pressure down across the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. Big hot ridge here in the southwest. And by the way, Phoenix hit 115 degrees six days in a row today only 109 so but that was an all time record for those folks out here in the, the southwest unbelievable heat there but meanwhile we have this trough across the area that's been producing showers and storms we saw a blow up out in the gulf of mexico and more energy coming in from the northwest so uh, we got to see how this plays out this may drive mainly down toward uh, the texas coastline but you can see a very active weather pattern across the region but some of the actions pushing off to the east uh, another part of the action is dropping to the south, but uh, this is all associated with a frontal boundary, so this may fill in later on tonight, so that's why we got to keep pretty high rain chances, and we've had some pretty strong storms even at this hour. Another strong one uh, coming into Rapides Parish, a severe thunderstorm warning for this cell north and east of Baton Rouge where damaging winds and maybe some hail are in the mix, and then we had flood warnings for northern portions of, uh, western portions of St. Landry Parish and also into uh, portions of Evangeline Parish, and then uh, back through Allen and uh, parts to the north and west where there was very heavy rainfall earlier. That rain has abated, but the water was high in the roadways. And again, things are quieting down for now. So I think we have a couple of hours before things may get fired back up again. Last vestiges of the showers now pushing out across the Chafalaya Basin locally here in Acadiana. So infrared satellite imagery indicating those storms really popping across Texas. You can see those colder cloud tops there and strong storms over by Mississippi and Alabama, all associated with a frontal system that's going to sag to the south. Don't hope for any real cool weather, but it's going to keep us unstable for another day or so, and then maybe some drier, more stable air moving in. In the tropics, we have a tropical wave coming off the African coastline. No major concerns there. Here's the remnants of uh, Claudette, or still a tropical storm, pushing out to sea, and this is a tropical wave that we're going to be keeping an eye on. It is probably going to fall apart as it heads toward the Caribbean, but the Hurricane Center picking up on that, and a quick look at uh, the picture and the moisture by the GFS model, which did a great job uh, kind of bird dogging Claudette shows that wave falling apart. But notice how the moisture begins to pool here in the northwestern uh, portions of the Caribbean. Also another tropical wave out there in the Atlantic. But this is the feature that's going to interest us the most as we finish out the month of June and head into the first few days of July. We do think there is the potential for something to get going in the Gulf of Mexico. We can't say it's going to be the eastern, central or western Gulf. GFS has been back and forth on that but it is indicating something might be up in the Gulf. So we'll see how it goes in the days ahead. Stay tuned for that. Near term though, active showers and storms pushing on through down to the south. And then as we get closer to tomorrow morning, I think we're going to see more activity. We had a little jump in the data right there, but bottom line, still pretty decent rain chances at least tomorrow morning. Then maybe settling down a little bit into the afternoon, but don't bet on it. We'll still be unstable through tomorrow evening. And then as we head into Wednesday, slightly drier air and as we watch the storms on Wednesday. More of a sea breeze type of shower and thunderstorm. Temperatures getting closer to 90 for sure. So we'll get back to a more typical summer pattern. As for rainfall, moving ahead, the latest model run not hitting any one particular area too terribly hard, but some folks not seeing any rain, others two to three inches, and that's the typical MO of scattered showers and thunderstorms. So showers decreasing next few hours, but could increase by daybreak. We'll keep that rain chance up at 80%, and a lot of times in these patterns, three, four o'clock in the morning is the magic hour to get things going again. And then another active day tomorrow with showers and storms, some locally heavy downpours, 85, the projected high. And as we move down the road, we see those rain chances getting back closer to normal. Daytime highs closer to 90, overnight lows staying planted in the mid 70s and today the first full day of summer or wet start to summer, but it does feel like summer out there and this 10 day forecast is also screaming summer as well. And oh, by the way, these mm -hmm. uh, stripes on my lapel. A lot of people will ask about that. I've posted on Facebook what it's all about. They're climate stripes and mm -hmm. it represents how the climate has warmed unnaturally in the last 30 years, but it's a 150 year record. I have more on my Facebook page if you want to learn a little bit more. All right. Thank you Thanks, for Rob. sharing, Rob.